Apple intelligence is here. It's Apple's all new AI features. Apple officially signed a deal with OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, and are incorporating a lot of ChatGPT 4.0 features into Siri herself, into the iPhone. So now you're going to be able to tell Siri, hey, what was that podcast my wife sent me last week? And she's going to bring it up. Funny enough, my wife sent me a podcast last week and I can't find it. So that would be a really cool feature to have right now. And imagine now that you're, you're going to be writing a cover letter for your job interview and it sounds really bad. And so you, you tell it in the notes app, hey, uh, reword this for me and it does it. Or, or you're like, hey, proofread this for me and it proofreads it and it creates something in seconds that it would have taken you minutes to edit. And then you're able to generate images all for free. This is going to be the coolest thing the iPhone has ever had. Yeah, we have a lot of really cool customization features. We have some quality of life improvements, some cool new gaming stuff, but nothing like this. Apple intelligence is going to change the game on how we use our iPhones, how we use any Apple product for the rest of our lives. Siri now has something what's called on-screen awareness. So just what it sounds like. Siri can tell what's on the screens. So be like, you're looking at the weather for some place in California and you're like, hey, set an event for this day, this time at this place. And Siri's like, what place? Oh, it's the place that's on the screen. Incredible, insane. Like we talked about in previous videos, message summaries, email summaries. If you are on the go, but somebody sent you an important email or message, one, it's Siri is going to be able to prioritize these things for you based on what it deems important, based on your personal preferences, because it's going to learn who you are. Then whenever you click on it, instead of giving you the first few lines of the email, which are not very helpful at all, it's going to give you just a quick summary of the gist of the email. That way you know if you need to reply to it or not. Incredible. This is going to change productivity forever. Now we have a <laughs> Genmoji. It's the AI generative emoji software app. You're able to now generate a squirrel playing a DJ stuff. You're able to do so many different things like that. It's going to be really fun, kind of dumb in my opinion, but a lot of fun. Also the new generating image, a whole app for that. You're going to be able to generate whatever image you want and whatever style you want. Cartoon, a sketch, you can change it on the go. You can send it in messages, send it as a tap back in messages. You're going to be able to send a sticker in messages. So many things in messages with these things as well. A lot of really cool new features in Apple intelligence coming in September when these features are out to everyone. I'm so excited to see how just normal people are going to use these things if they are. The sad thing is these features are only available on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max and any iPad or Mac running the M1 processor or newer. So anything with the M1 to M4. Thankfully, I have an M1 Pro Mac and iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm so excited to be able to use these features. And as these features roll out and I get to play with them, subscribe to the channel. I'll show you everything you need to know. And of course, it being Apple, this is going to be privacy centric. It's going to ask you, hey, are you sure you want to share this image? It's going to be end to end encrypted. It's not going to be on some random server out in the boonies where some homeless guy is going to be able to look at it and steal all your data. It's going to be what all of these AI things that have come out in the years past, what all of these things should have been. It's going to be done the Apple way. It's going to be done the right way. If you're excited to see more, hit subscribe. I'm Jake. This is Shot on My Phone.